Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys are really good. Normally I would say good morning. But look, I'm recording and it's not morning. Do you guys know what it is? It's nighttime. So what do we say when it's nighttime? Do we say good afternoon? Mm -mm. We don't say good morning and we don't say good afternoon. So what do we say? We could say good evening. Good evening is what you say when it's nighttime and you wanna say hello to someone. So good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are having fun at home with mom and dad and your brothers and your sisters and that you're being safe. There's so much stuff that you guys can do at home, isn't there? You can play board games, you can draw, you can play outside, maybe you can play with water. If you have a pool, you can go in the pool, but if you don't have a pool, maybe you can play with the hose, like a fireman. Firemen use hoses, don't they? So you can play with that kind of stuff. Maybe you're playing some sort of sport. Maybe you can play soccer outside with your mom or your dad, or maybe you can play basketball or football, throw an American football. All of those are fun activities that we can play at home and you have to go to school at home on the computer or on the iPad. That's something really new, isn't it? We didn't used to do that before. Did you used to go to school on an iPad or on a computer? No, you went to school at your school with your friends and your teachers. But now since you can't go to school, you see them on the computer or on the iPad. Maybe you can call them on your mommy's cell phone. She can let you do that too, so that you can say hi to all your friends. So today, we're gonna read a story. A story that we've read many times in class before, but I chose this one because I know it's your favorite. Do you guys remember this book? I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I know this is one of your guys' favorite books, so we're gonna have a lot of fun reading it today, okay? I want you guys to follow along, and at the end, I'm gonna ask you questions, so you have to pay really close attention, and remember, when we're going through all of the things that the old lady eats, you have to remember it, okay? Because I'm gonna ask you at the end. You ready? All right, guys, here we go. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly by Mary Ann Hoberman and Nadine Bernard Westcott. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. There's a fly going into her mouth, guys. Do you see it? Oh, but wait, is that the only fly you see? Who can see other flies? There's a fly in the cat's sandwich. Do you guys see it? And there's another fly in the dog's water. And over on the table, next to the plate with cookies, there is a fly in the sugar for the coffee. There's four flies on this paper, on this page. And one of those flies looks like it's flying into the old lady's mouth. So we started. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Look at the table, guys. When the fly flew into her mouth, I think she got scared and she threw all of the stuff off the table. Oh goodness, that's gonna be a big mess to clean up. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider. Look at the dog's face, you guys. That dog looks surprised. I think the dog can't believe she's gonna swallow a spider. That spider wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. Oh no, guys. 
another mess. The table is falling over. The vase that was on the table and the plants are falling over. All of this eating of animals is making a big, big mess. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Look, the vase with the flowers ended up on the dog's head. That's pretty funny. I know an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. It looks kind of fun. She's chasing after the bird. The dog and the cat are going with her. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Look at the bird on top of the cat. I think he's mad at the cat because the old lady is going to eat his bird friend. And look, there's another bird yelling at the dog. I know an old lady who swallowed a cat. Think of that, she swallowed a cat. She's making that cat in a sandwich, you guys. She's putting mustard and cheese and tomatoes and lettuce onions. Look at that cat's face. Is he happy? Mm -mm. He looks pretty upset to me. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Look at her mouth. The cat's tail is sticking out of her mouth. I know an old lady, oh my gosh. I know an old lady who swallowed a dog. Oh, what a job to swallow a dog. Look at that poor dog. He doesn't want to go. He looks pretty scared. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly Perhaps she'll die. She's starting to look full, you guys. She's eating a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I know an old lady who swallowed a... <laughs> That's right, a goat. She popped open her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that, that's right, that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Look how wide she had to open her mouth to eat that goat. And look at the bird. He's flying away because he looks really scared. Oh my goodness, there is no way this is happening. I know an old lady who swallowed a cow. Don't ask how, she swallowed a cow. 
Look at all the chickens. They're running away because they're super scared. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. Seriously, guys, look how big she has to open her mouth to swallow that cow. Look at those chickens, they're so scared. That wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Guys, look how big the old lady is. She's so big, she broke her couch. Look at her couch, it's all broken. Oh my gosh, there is no way this is happening. I know an old lady who swallowed a horse. Look at when she stepped outside her house, look what happened to the floor. It broke too. She's full of course. Oh my goodness. She is finally full. She's not hungry anymore. The end. What did you think of the story, guys? It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go through the story. Some of the animals that the old lady ate were big. And some of the animals that the old lady ate were small. So who can tell me the first animal that the old lady ate? I'll give you a clue. It's right on the front. That's right, a fly. The first animal that she ate was a fly. Is a fly big or small? A fly is really small. It's little itty bitty, it fits right in your hand. So the first animal she ate was really small. What was the second animal that she ate? Who knows? Very good, you guys remembered. The second animal that she ate was a spider. And what did the story tell us that that spider did every single time she ate a new animal? It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. So the spider was the second animal. Now, is a spider bigger or smaller than a fly? A spider is bigger than a fly, not a lot bigger, just a little bit. So the fly is the smallest and the spider is a little bit bigger. Okay, what was the third animal that she ate? Do you guys remember? Think about it. The third animal that she ate was a bird. The third animal that she ate was a bird. Okay, so is a bird bigger or smaller than a spider? That's right, the bird is bigger than the spider. Very good. All right, next animal. What was the fourth animal that she ate? I'll give you a clue. She made it in a sandwich. Do you remember the animal that she made in a sandwich? It was the cat. Remember? She put mustard on the cat and she put tomatoes and lettuce. The cat was the fourth animal that she ate. So is the cat bigger or smaller than the other animals? The cat is bigger. First, it was the, the fly. Second, she ate the spider. Third, she ate the bird. And fourth, she ate the cat. So we've got four different animals and each time 
the animals are getting bigger and bigger. Okay, who can tell me what was the fifth animal that she ate? Do you remember? Think about it. It was a dog. Do you remember? Dog was the fifth animal she ate. So we started with a fly and then a spider and then a bird and then a cat and then a dog. So is the cat bigger or smaller than the dog? The cat is smaller than the dog. The dog is bigger than the cat. The cat is smaller, the dog is bigger. Each animal is getting bigger and bigger. So far we've had five animals. Let's go to the next one. Who remembers? It's the goat. The goat is the sixth animal that the old lady eats. This old lady, I'm telling you, man, she's really hungry. So the goat is the sixth animal that she eats. So she ate a fly, a spider, a bird, a cat, a dog, and now a goat. So this is the sixth animal. And so the goat is what? Bigger or smaller than the dog? The goat is bigger than the dog. Let's go through all of them. The spider is, no, I'm sorry. The fly is smaller than the spider. The spider is smaller than the bird. The cat, the bird is smaller than the cat. The cat is smaller than the dog. And the dog is smaller than the goat. So, so far the biggest one is the goat. Now, Look at how she eats that goat. Her mouth is getting so big, she has to open wide. Can you open your mouth super wide? If you can't open your mouth super wide, you can't eat a goat. It takes a lot of talent to eat a goat. Oh my goodness. Seventh animal was the cow. Very good, it was the cow. So we've got a fly, a spider, a cat, a dog. No, I'm missing one. A, spy, a fly, a spider, a bird, a cat, a dog, a goat, and a cow. Is a cow big or small? Cows are huge. Cows are really, really big. Look how much. She has to open up her mouth to fit the cow inside. A lot. So she's, this is the seventh animal. The first animal was the fly. The second animal was the spider. The third animal was the bird. The fourth animal was the cat. The fifth animal was the dog, the sixth animal was the goat, and the seventh animal is the cow. We have one more. What was the last animal that the old lady ate? You guessed it, the horse. The last animal that she ate was the horse. It's the eighth animal. And after she ate the horse, she was full, of course. Hey, horse, of course. Those words sound really similar. Do they sound the same? Let's look at them. Horse, H-O-R-S-E, horse. Of course, C-O-U-R-S-E, 
those words are similar. Who knows what it's called when two words sound the same? That's right. They're called words that rhyme. Did you guys hear any other words that rhymed in the story? We said one a lot. Jiggled and wriggled. G-G-L-E-D. G-G-L-E-D. They rhyme. Wriggled, jiggled. Let's see if we can find any other ones. I found another one. I know an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. Bird, absurd. They sound the same, they rhyme. Bird ends with R-D and absurd ends with R-D. Bird, absurd. How about cat and that? I know an old lady who swallowed a cat. Think of that, she swallowed a cat. Cat, that, they rhyme too. Let's find more. Found one. Goat, throat. I know an old lady who swallowed a goat, popped open her throat and swallowed a goat. Those words rhyme too. Goat, throat. Goat, throat. Let's see if we can find any more. Found one. I know an old lady who swallowed a cow. Don't ask how she swallowed a cow. Cow, how. Cow, how. Look, they end with the same letters, they rhyme, they sound the same. And the last one, horse, of course. So in this story, we go over animals, we go over numbers, we go over size, and we go over rhymes. That's a lot of stuff for one story. We got a little sidetracked. The eighth animal that the old lady eats is a horse. So we've got a fly, a spider, a bird, a cat, a dog, a goat, a cow, and a horse. Can you imagine eating eight animals? I could never eat eight animals. That's too many. And look, when the story started, look at the old lady. She looks like a normal old lady, right? She was a pretty normal size, but when the story ends, the old lady is super big. She's huge. Why do you think she got so big? It was probably because she ate all of the animals, right? So she started with a small animal when she was small and she ended with a big animal and she finished super big. So the smaller the animal, the smaller the lady, the bigger the animal, the bigger the old lady, okay? Okay guys, so to finish our class on our book, the last thing we're gonna do is draw a picture. Okay, you ready? You need a white piece of paper and you can use a pencil, you can use a marker, whatever mommy or daddy tells you you're allowed to use, you can go ahead and get that. It's a white piece of paper and something that you can use to draw, okay? Okay guys, our last 
thing that we're going to do is a drawing. Okay. I thought that since we did animals, we could draw an animal. And in this case, today, we're going to do a dog. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is up the top, make kind of like an oval shape. Okay. That's going to be the dog's head. Step number two, we're going to give him some ears. I think I made my dog's ears a little bit too big, but that's okay. Okay, our next step, we're going to give him a nose. All right, so we've got his head, his two ears, and his nose. And we're going to give him one eye and another eye. On this eye, we're going to give him a patch. Okay? Next step. We're going to come down and make his body. Alright. We're going to make one semicircle and then one semi oval. Okay? And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to come down and we're going to make a semi circle and a semi oval. Okay? So we've got a diagonal line a semicircle and a semi oval on both sides. Okay? Then we're going to come in the middle and we're going to draw some legs. Right around the middle, we're going to go down and we are going to make one paw. I made his body a little bit long, but that's okay. And then we're gonna go down and make the other paw. I don't know if that really looks like a dog to you guys. But we tried. Maybe we can give him some more spots. He looks kind of like a Dalmatian now with all these spots. Maybe we can give him some on his ears. Give him some toes. How did that look? And then we can color our dog. We're going to name him Danny the Dalmatian Dog. There we go. 
So finish up your guys' dog. And maybe mommy can send me a picture to see how it turned out. Okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, because those are the words that we worked on today, and the different animals. Fly, spider, bird, cat, dog, goat, cow, and horse. Those animals, where do you find those animals? Where do you think the old lady lived? Do you think she lived in the city? Or do you think maybe she lived on a farm? All of those are animals that you can find on a farm. Maybe the old lady lives on a farm. Hmm, that's something to think about. Over and the words bigger, smaller, smallest, and biggest. Okay, so you guys are gonna work with that with mom and dad. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be posting more and sending you guys more um, in a couple of days so that you can do it and go over it with your parents. And I will see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye guys.